Hoodie fam, what is up? We are back with another video. This also came out yesterday. If you didn't see my WWE reaction video to the My Career, My Rise trailer, go check that out. But today, in this video, we're going to go over the, the developer blog for Diamond Dynasty updates and MLB, the show 24. I'm so glad they put this out. The game comes out in 18 days. Right? Yeah. Yeah, 18 days, but it comes out in 14 days if you if you pre-ordered uh, the Digital Deluxe or the Collector's Edition, which is uh, two weeks from this past Friday. So we got about like a little over a week and a half to go, but I'm so glad they finally put this out. They haven't said much. I saw there was a gameplay trailer, but I'm not even going to cover it because it was only like 30 seconds long. Like, there was, and they didn't even show that much, bro. They didn't even show that much, so I'm not going to go over that. But this I want to go over, because I am big into Diamond Dynasty. But it always, like, falls off, like, after, like, the first season. And I'm going to explain why as we go through this. So, it says, in this article, here are some of the points. Team Infinity expands to three chapters each season, and more ways to earn progress across multiplayer and single player modes. I love that. Last year, the Team Affinity was amazing, but eventually it got to the point where, like, it took forever to finish it, and I was never able to finish even one uh, Team Affinity. The rewards were great. The rewards were great, but it was just very hard to finish all of them in the set amount of time they gave you, unless you played the game, like, 24 hours a day or, like, 18 hours. Like, it was crazy, bro. So that I'm excited for. Then it says free cornerstone cards and starter packs for players at the start of each new season. That is awesome. They show the cornerstone cards for, for set one. We're going to go over that. But at each season, you get the cards and starter packs. I love that. And then this right here, bro. Point number three. This is huge. Fewer higher tier 99 overalls at the start of each season. A major change from 23 Diamond Dynasty. I love that. Dude, I swear, last year, you would go online after I'd say like the probably like the first couple weeks, and teams would have 99s like crazy. They would just release 99 after 99 after 99 after 99. I mean, in the beginning of the year, you had what? You had Babe Ruth. Uh, you had Derek Jeter, I think, uh, you had, there was, like, so many guys that had 99s, and, like, that's what, like, makes the game, like, just not even play, like, not playable, but, like, not even wanting you to play, because it's just 99 after 99 after 99, like, they should start at, like, 80s, or, like, the highest card would be, like, an 85 or something like that, like, how Madden does it, like, or, like, how 2K does it. Like, you can't just have 99s after, like, the first month and a half of the game. Especially when your game comes out all the way in March. So you have until next March now. Until, like, it feels like you're restarting. Because not it's just 99 after 99. So I'm so happy about that. And then there's free weekly packs in the shop throughout the year. Free weekly packs. I don't think that was a thing. I don't think that was a thing last year. More ways to earn and sell higher tier cards. That's probably like the 90s and above, like 99s, 90s. Uh, seasons are now 12 weeks long. Read read below for more details on changes, each with contained progression and more frequent team affinity content drops. Awesome. So I think seasons are longer. I think last year they were eight weeks, I think. I can't remember, dude, because I haven't played Diamond Dynasty since like season one last year, which is like when the game came out. So, like, I don't even remember. But they do have a live content premiere on March 14th at 3 p.m. on Twitch and YouTube. So, you can go watch it over there, which would be the day, which would be not this Wednesday, but next Wednesday. And then the game, if, like I said, if you pre-order the best edition, or the two best edition comes out on the 15th. And then it just says, we are thrilled to share with you some of the changes they're making. We know our players love baseball and Devin Dynasty. We want our players to build the best team possible by playing however, blah, blah, blah. After listening to the feedback, they focus more on team building. Uh, our aim is to infuse in-game season with unique content. Uh, so basically, they're just saying they listen to our feedback and understand that we don't want 99s at launch. Okay. All right. And then we have introducing Seasonal Diamond Dynasty. So this is the season experience. Seasonal Diamond Dynasty takes a refined approach to building your Diamond Dynasty team. Featuring new cards released exclusively each season. It brings the familiar feeling of ascending lower to higher rated cards, but this time at more accelerated pace, containing 
within each 12 league season. While some of the highest rated season cards would be a 91 overall at launch, we expect most fans will work their way up by building a, a strategic way by building and strategizing with silver and gold teams before reaching the high 90s that will be released over the course of each season throughout through new and more frequent team affinity content drops. We hope you're ready for the more team building opportunities and new strategies as you upgrade your lineup and climb the leaderboards. Here are some tools to help you along the way. So the highest card in season one will be 91. That is great because last year, dude, we had like, I think the highest card was like a 97 or 99. Like it was literally a 99, I'm pretty sure. So this is great. This is great because this means that like the 70s and 80s will actually be important. Like you can actually use them. So you have in-season cards here. That's what they kind of just talked about here about building with the golds and the silvers, which is great. So in-season cards. In-season cards are any cards released during the current active season. For example, season one cards display s1 for season one on the upper left corner which means you can earn at long any cards you can earn at launch can be added to your rank lineup during season one as we transition into new seasons any cards that are no longer in season can only be used in a wild card slot for all the subsequent seasons this is isn't this is an important change from mlb the show 23 where cards could overlap into two seasons our aim here is to keep the season to season experience fresh and to ensue new cards with lower overall with lower OBRs will have time will have their time to shine. Yeah, so like last year I remember you could use like a season one card in season two or you could take a season two and use it in season three, but some of them didn't matter. But now they're saying that if it says season one like this guy, that's it. He's just season one. We go to season two, you can't use him. So I like that. And now you only get I believe you only get one wild card. Uh yeah, where cards can overlap into two seasons. So now you just get one wild card, and then you just have to use season two cards. There's no season one cards. I love that. Now we have core cards. It says core cards are returning to Diamond Dynasty. They were in the game last year. I remember this. They can be earned in all seasons, all modes, and, in, and include 1,200-plus live series players from all 30 MLB clubs. So we had that last year. This is one of them, Brian Reynolds. He's a core. It says it up top. So it would say core instead of season one, 81 overall. Then they're just showing some other cards. I don't know, actually. Oh, example lineup with core players. So all these have core up top because they're all core players. So I see. So season one card, season one core. And then you have a wild card to see. Be on the lookout for extra special core card. Collection rewards of legends and flashbacks, including a special launch collection featuring our MB The Show 24 cover athlete, Vlad Guerrero Jr. So here's Vlad. There's going to be stuff you put in there, but if you complete his collection, you get this 91 overall Vlad, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And then there's uniforms, and then there's unlockable equipment. Now, wild card slots. Wild card slots are also returning, but with a twist. You can now unlock multiple wild card slots up to, up to four from the Season X reward path beginning in Season 2. While you need to wait a season to start acquiring more wild card slots, it's never too early to start thinking about your season two team building strategy and who will fill those wild card slots with. Okay, ah, see, I was wondering that because I saw it there. Okay, so at season two, you can unlock the first wild card spot. So that's like, if you're in season two and you have a season one card, right? Like, I think. Well, Vladdy's a core, but like, where's the? So like, if you're using this Castro, right? And you want to use him in Season 2 because he's been great for you. at an 84 overall, but he's a Season 1 card. And then you unlock your wild card spot here where this is filled in. You could put him in your lineup in Season 2 even though he's a Season 1 card because it's a wild card. So you can use him throughout the season. Then same in Season 3, 4, and 5. If you still want to use him, I mean, I'm not going to say not to use him if he's playing good for you and he's an 84 and you want to use him or put him in as like a DH or something, you could put him in with this wild card spot. But the rest of the people would have to be like season two, unless you unlock more. Like once we get to like season four or five, you're going to have all these unlocked. So you can have four wild card spots unlocked where you can use like a guy. Say we're in season five and you want to use a guy from season three. Boom, you just put him in your wild card. Or a guy from season one and you want to put him in as a wild card, you can put him in and still use him. But then once you fill up all your wild card spots, one, two, three, and four, 
and then you're going to have to use cards of that season. So say you use in season two, you used four cards from season one. You filled up your wild card. The rest have to be season two. You can't put any more season one people in there. So I like that. Now you may be wondering what goodies will help me start building my Diamond Dynasty squad each season. Don't worry, we got you covered. So we, this was in the in the intro. We had core stone cards, seasonal starter packs, and head star rewards. Diamond Dynasty players will receive free rewards at the beginning of each new season, and it starts with a cornerstone card choice pack available on day one or whenever players decide to start the new season. Okay, I love this. What are cornerstone cards? Cornerstone players are captain cards with special abilities that help you build your dream team of baseball superstars. At the beginning of each season, a cornerstone choice pack will be delivered into your inventory automatically, where you can choose one of the four seasonal player cards as your cornerstone captain. You will have important decisions to make. Do you want to start a team with a ghost fork throwing ace or a legendary pinpoint pitcher? Or would you like to start a team with an all-star corner infielder or a speedy outfielder that chases down every fly ball in the gap? These four cornerstone captains have unique team building boosts for your dream team archetypes to choose wisely. And with that said, here's a peek at the Season 1 Cornerstone cards. Arenado and Byron Buxton bring the bats, while Sega and Maddox could be your opening day ace. Who will it be if you can only choose one to be your Cornerstone captain? So you got, they're all 88s. You got Arenado, Buxton, Sega, and Maddox. I mean, Arenado, like they said, brings the bat. But he's slow, bro. They always give him, like, 20 speed. So I probably won't go Arenado. Buxton's not a bad choice. And neither are both pitchers. I mean, Greg Maddox is a beast. Um, I, We got to see what the rewards are. We got to see, like, what the rewards are in the season. Um, And then we got to see, like, what we get, like, in the starter pack that's up next. But we got to see, like, what the rewards are and stuff like that. And then we'll probably go from there. But I'll probably either pick one of the pitchers or Buxton. I probably won't go Arenado because he's just slow. He's just slow. And I don't really like his stance. But another addition is the Seasonal Starter Pack. This is new. This is new. In addition to Cornerstone Choice Packs, Diamond Dynasty players will also receive a five-pack Seasonal Starter Bundle in their inventories to help them build and fill collection so you get five cards at every start of every season that's cool i like that i like that a lot and then head start rewards and don't forget head start rewards will return at the start of season two players will receive better rewards depending on how well they perform in previous season we encourage everyone to conquer as many challenges as you can do to build momentum heading into the next season so that that's cool so you get you get you get to pick up five no a four cards with the cornerstone at every season, plus you get a starter pack at every season, and then you get head start rewards. So, like, they're giving you a lot of free stuff, bro. Like, a lot of free stuff. And that's not even including, like, the XP reward path, the programs. Like, there's so much. All the stuff that comes online, there's so much. I remember playing. It was great. Speaking of the reward path, here we go. Content schedule update. We know you're... We know you're keen to shake up your lineup often. That's why this year in Diamond Dynasty, we're focused on delivering impactful reward, reward cards at faster pace as each season unfolds. Seasons will typically run 12 weeks, approximately three months at launch. Anticipate some of the highest rated season one cards to start at a 91 overall. With new content drops gradually pushing the bar even higher, each contained season until we reach those covenant 99s. Those with a sharp eye may notice the result in a much smaller amount of high-rated diamonds at launch. We had we heard our fans on this topic. Thank God. Because they would release, like, diamond cards, bro, like, every other day. And they would be, like, 93s, 95s, 99s. Like, it was crazy. It was crazy. I love that you can finally use, like, the gold and silvers, and they actually matter. Like, thank God. Someone had to listen at, at San Diego Studios. At San Diego Studios, not Studies, but but while most but while most of the game will follow the new gradual climb in overalls each season, there is one outliner: the Live Series Collection Reward. We know our fans love earning that sweet 99 core reward once the collection is completed. So of course, it's still a thing in 24. The reward will take a certain amount of time and skill, so be prepared to to level up not only your squad but also your prowess on the sticks if you want to earn it. 
a saying that our development team has coined is that it feels good to be bad and then get good. We hope that our players will share the sen- the sentiment and play to 99 with us every season um, as every season unfolds this year. I mean, that's fine. Make the collection reward for the core of 99. Make the make the live series collection a 99. I'm fine with that. I am totally fine with that. That is totally fine. It's been like that. We just can't have when they drop like new packs. We just can't have like two 99s in that packs every other Wednesday. Like there has to be like a there has to be like a fine line of like okay, we dropped this new weekly wonders pack or like this new this new program is coming out and you can't have like 1099s in the program bro like you you just got to you just got to space it out and like let's have the game last a little bit maybe let's try to get into like the summertime or like like winter time next year by the time like the 99s start coming out well not winter but like fall like going to winter like let's 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 have the game progress slowly so when you log in, you're just like, oh, another 99. Oh, another 99. Like, let's just let's just feel like we're building our team, okay? Let's just feel like we're building our team. The reward path is the best thing ever. I love the reward path. Last year, I finished the reward path in like two weeks for season one, and I was just sitting there grinding XP, going around the wheel mad times to get 25,000 XP and getting tons of rewards. So here's the reward path. Here's some of the rewards you got. A pitcher's captain pack, a ball and his habit pack. Those are great packs. You can usually pull a diamond. You got a hitter's captain patch. You get stubs. You got a headliner's pack. You get a profile icon. That's some player right there. You get a free player. You get another ball and his habit pack. This is great. I love that. And you get XP for playing any game mode. You can play Road to the Show. You can play March to October. You could play, I'm pretty sure you could go in and just play practice mode and you get XP. You could play exhibition, play now, online, play now. Like you play anything. So I love the reward path. The reward path is great. And usually at the end, they give you like a. You either get like a big player or you get like a. You get like a. Like stubs or a big pack or like a 99 or something like that. But then you have sellable rewards and free packs weekly. Free packs weekly. What? Sign me up, dog. Sign me up. Seasonal Diamond Dynasty isn't the only big change that we're introducing this year. We have a renewed focus on our gain economy. And with our dedication to more frequent Team Affinity content drops, we want to ensure that some of those top-tier player cards can be accessible to all. In 24, there will be more ways to attain the higher-tier reward cards for multiplayer modes like Ranked Battle and Events, of course. Ranked programs will feature sellable rewards, including a new exclusive program player reward for you to earn ranked, solo, or co-op gameplay. Battle Royale Flawless will start at 10-0 for the best reward pack, down from 12-0 requirements in past years. I ain't never gone 12-0. I ain't never going to go 10-0. I mean, I barely play online. Usually, by the time I want to play online, I'm bored of the game because there's 99s, or I've grinded so much offline to build my team that I don't even want to play online, and I suck. I'm not that good at MLB, bro. I'm just not. I play the, I've play always played the career mode. I stopped playing MLB because it switched over to PlayStation, and I'm just not good at, good at it. But this year, we'll try to go for it, but I'm just going to be swinging at everything. I suck, bro. But it's on, against the computer, I'm good. When I put the computer on, like, rookie or, like, pro or, like, whatever it is in MLB, I'm good at that. But online, against a real player, I'm not good. Events now last for two weeks, giving you more time to earn those rewards. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure they only lasted, like, five days last year like a week so that was annoying and for everyone starting when the game launches keep an eye on the show shop each week for a free pack including some theme drops throughout the mlb season hint for the first theme freebie where oh here's a hint for the first themed freebie where will the first mlb game be played during the regular season i don't know i don't know who plays opening day but so we get sellable rewards there's more stuff for online and then there's free weekly packs. I will claim my pack every single week. You ain't got to worry about that, dog. Where should I? Ex- where should you expect rewards? And MLB The Show 24, we set out to create a better balance of how our players can earn rewards throughout the Diamond Dynasty. We want players to enjoy the game in their way and feel their efforts are fully rewarded. If someone who focuses on multiplayer modes like Ranked, Battle Royale, and events, you have the opportunity to hire 
to earn higher rated rewards initially, of course, because that's online and it's harder. On the other hand, if you're a single player mode, like me, like many seasons, many seasons, best thing ever. They came into the game last year, love it. Conquest, amazing. Showdown will make you rage and want to run through a wall, but you'll see when I do it on stream. You have the opportunity to earn better rewards over time as OVR progression escalates. So ranked one program, you get a sh two show packs, the Baldness, the Habit, some millionaire pack, dude. I don't know what that is. I got to know what that is right now because if I could pull a million stubs, I would lose my mind. You got stubs, you get XP, you get a bundle. Uh, there's missions to do more than, and then there's stuff like that. That's just for online though. This other one, the reward path, the reward path is for everyone. That's offline, online. Like I said, you could play anything. That's for anything. You don't even have to play Diamond Dynasty to get in the reward path, bro. You could play, like I said, March to October, career, and then you could log into Diamond Dynasty and claim hella rewards. But the, the ranked one is for online. So then it says more Team Affinity than ever before. Team Affinity has been a fan favorite content release for years and a pinnacle place to find and earn cards for our favorite teams. And this year, Team Affinity will no longer be a once-per-season content drop. In the new season, Diamond Dynasty Team Affinity re will release three times per season. That's once every four weeks. For example, in Season 1, Team Affinity will have three major updates. Season 1, Chapter 1 at launch. Season 1, Chapter 2 in mid-April. And then Chapter 3 in May. Thank you. Our fans can expect 30 new player cards, one from each Embo team with each new Team Infinity chapter. In addition, new unlocks and packs will a, a plenty in a reward pass to customize your profile and rep your favorite team. Look for these te Team Affinity Chapter 1 bosses and Team Affinity at launch. Introducing a new legend, Brian Dozer. So, they have a new legend. We don't know all the new legends yet because they have their thing on the 13th. But, they have a new legend. 89 overall. I love these stats. 72 contact, right, 81 left, power is 89, 101 power left, uh, 63 speed. Fielding is pretty good, but see, this is what you need. Because some of the cards that come out, bro, everyone has like 100 everything. And it's just like the same card because everyone's a 99. And it's just 125 power here, 125 contact here, 99 speed here, 99 I'm fielding, 99 arm. Like, this is great, bro. This is great. See? Because then you have Vladimir Guerrero, who's another one. His contact is better than Dozier, but his power is down. Speed is the same. And then his, his fielding is pretty bad. I got to be... Well, his arm is pretty good, but his fielding stat's pretty bad, but... This is what I needed from MLB. I needed them to make it feel like you're building your team because you're like, well, he's an 89. That's pretty good. But the stats are, eh, but it's only season one. So when we get to season three, you're probably going to get a 99 Vladimir Guerrero who's going to have over 100 hitting stats and 80-something speed and good throws. So, like, it's just nice to feel like you're actually building. It says these legends are 89 overall, but each subsequent chapter of the Team Affinity will have better... And better playing card OVRs. Awesome. I'm not going to go over the questions. Because I don't want to do that. But it says however you play. In Diamond Dynasty. Whether you're dominating single player conquest maps. Building theme teams to complete the team affinity missions. Or completing against the best of the best. We want you to reach your favorite rewards. They can't wait for us to experience it. Don't forget to mark your calendars on the 14th. Not the 13th. I'm so sorry. I thought. Didn't it say the 13th up top? Didn't it literally say. Dude. Hold on, am I tripping, dog? Didn't it say the 13th? Oh, no, March 14th. I'm an idiot. Okay, so March 14th, the day before early access comes out, uh, they have their thing on Twitch and all that. So just make sure you do that. We're a little deep diver into Diamond Dynasty. And then before we go, I don't know what this is, but this is obviously a card, and they blurted out but the card art looks sick. It says, we want to send you, we want to send a huge shout out to everyone in MLB The Show community. Your passion shines through clearly in all the lively discussions and constructive feedback posts every single day. That input invigorates us as we strive to make MLB The Show the best it can be with each passing year. We see you and we are grateful for your ongoing support. Thank you. And then MLB launches on March 19th. 
for PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. Pre-orders are available now. Like I said, you get the, the, the digital deluxe and the collector's edition. You get it on March 15th, which is two Fridays from now. Well, basically one Friday from this week. So we got about a week and a half. I am excited. I cannot wait to play this game. The changes for Diamond Dynasty were well needed. I'm glad they listened to us. There still could have been some more. But hey, they have covered the biggest thing, the 99 overall players. Thank you, San Diego Studios. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know down in the comments section. Smash the subscribe button. Smash that like button. I got to get out of here, though, so I will see you guys in the next one. Always remember to follow your dreams. Don't let anyone stop you. And until next time, hoodie fam, bye-bye.